exit. Please review the responsibilities for emergency exit seating on the back of the safety information card located in the seat pocket in front of you. If you are unable or prefer not to perform hey. these functions, please let us know and we'll be Down happy here. to find you another seat. Hey, you! Down here! How's the flight? We haven't taken off yet. Good. Well, let me give you a few airline etiquette tips to keep everyone happy. Okay. Number one, you didn't hog the overhead bin, did you? I don't think so. Good. Because these days, space is at a premium. Only put one of your bags up there. And try not to take up someone else's space by laying your bag horizontally. Number two, don't fight the poor flight attendant about the electronics. Just shut them off during takeoff and landing like they ask. They didn't make the rule, they're just enforcing it. Plus, why disrupt the flight just so you can play words with friends? Does anybody play that anymore? Not the point. Number three, if you're going to recline your chair, do it slowly. Maybe even warn the person behind you. And if a meal is served, put your seat upright to give the person behind you a little more space. I like that idea. Anything else? Middle seat, get the armrest. The middle person has no room to stretch out or rest their head. The least you can do is give them a little arm space. And the final tip I'll give you, don't stink. Don't force a conversation with anyone that isn't interested. And if you get up for any reason, do it at a convenient time. Not when everyone just put their trays down to eat something. Hey, thanks. You must see a lot from the back of a seat. You should see what the motion sickness bag has to go through. If you've got any tips or stories, send them our way. Text us at 206-448-4545. Everybody has a travel pet peeve. On our Facebook page this morning, some of you weighing in. Alex tells us, I hate armrest hoggers. So do I, Alex. Also, William says, long daily bus rides with this is my space invaders. So those are some pet peeves in our next half hour. There's actually entire websites devoted to shaming passengers, Aww. doing weird stuff on airplanes. It could be you. Back to you. <laughs>